Praise the name of the Lord Jesus is mighty. I'm so super excited for what God is about to do for you. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, the Bible says, But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Declared the Lord because you have called upon me. Listen to this. I want to talk about restoration. The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 10, the Bible says the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the B part says, but I have come. God has an assignment to restore back to you what was taken. Now listen to me. If it was stolen, there is hope. It doesn't matter what the devil took from you, your family, your home, your business, your job, your health, your career. There is restoration coming. I said there is restoration coming. He said, I will restore health to you. I want to, I know you want restoration of your marriage, your business, but I want to specifically deal with your health. The Lord laid in my heart that there's quite a number of you that are going through health crisis. I came to prophesy on somebody watching me. Maybe the doctor has given you a report. Maybe, maybe you are in a point right now where they have even given you days to leave. God said, I should tell you, Jeremiah 30 verse 7, this is your scripture. He said, but I will restore you to health. Not health to you, I will restore you to health. Meaning, I will carry you and put you into health. When God restores things to you, he restores it 100%. By the power of the Holy Ghost, your health is restored. I pray for you today that you are healed. Every sickness in your body... Every sickness in your body be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. Be made whole. I declare you healed. I don't know. I just feel in my spirit as you pray for those who are sick. Whether it's HIV, cancer, barrenness of any sort, heat in the womb, ovariances, coronavirus, deafness, dumbness, blindness, stroke, New problem. Also, whatever it is, TB, be healed. I declare you healed now. In the name of Jesus, I declare you healed right now. Father, heal your people. Restore back to them their health. You see, I've always said this to you. A healthy mind is a prosperous mind. A healthy body is a prosperous body. The devil knows. You see, in 1 John... The Bible says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. So even God knows the importance of your health. God knows that no matter what you want to become in life, life is the capital. Life is the capital. What's good? The Bible says a living dog is better than a dead lion. So if when the, one of the best gifts God can give you is to restore health to you. And I pray for you that you will live in health from now. Not whether you are sick or not, I declare you will live in health, your children will live in health, everything around you will enjoy health in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to read this Job 42, verse 10. The Bible says, After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortune. Now, another thing that brings restoration is when you pray for people. Listen to this. Whatever you need to be restored in your life, look for it in the life of others and pray for them. You need a marriage? Stop praying for marriage for yourself. Pray for friends. Pray for family members. Pray for people around you that are trusting God for marriage. You're trusting God for a child? Stop praying to God for a child for yourself. Start declaring, Lord, this my sister needs children. Bless her with children. Whatever you do for others, God do for you. Whatever you declare for others, God brings it to your point. He said, and God restored Job's fortune. So one of the things that restored Job's blessing was because he prayed for his friends. Learn to pray for people. Learn to intercede for people. Look for needs. Listen, like I said, the fastest way to get the attention of God is to pray for somebody else that needs the need you need. The need you need, you pray for that person. God says, no, 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 no. This one is not selfish. 
I need to restore back to the person. I pray that God will give you this wisdom. Let me read one more scripture for you. Look at this. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16. Look at this. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him, what did God do? He sent his son to restore. Because man has lost his glory at the Garden of Eden. So what did God have to do? He sent his son. May God send somebody to you that will restore you back to where you are supposed to be. I don't know who God needs to send, but I pray for you today by the power of the Holy Ghost. May God send to your life the right people. The people, of, the people that will restore you back to that strength, that place that God has you know, destined for you in the name of Jesus. Look at this in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. The Bible says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. I will restore rest to you. I don't know what has taken your peace. Mm, rest is coming. By the oil of restoration. I don't know what has taken your peace. I don't know what has taken your joy. I don't know what has taken your sanity. I don't know what has taken your health. Peace is coming to you. By the unction of restoration, I declare peace. I declare rest. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive rest. You know, you know, <laughs> Solomon said, I have rest on every side. May God give you rest on Monday. Rest on Tuesday. Rest on Wednesday. Rest on Thursday. Rest on Friday. Rest on Saturday. Rest on Sunday. May you enjoy rest. I say enjoy rest. Look at Psalm 51 verse 12. The Bible says, Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Listen to this. When you have God, you have peace. And when you have peace, you have joy. Whatever that has taken your joy, Whatever that has stolen your joy, I stand as God's servant to declare tonight. I stand as God's mouthpiece to pray for you. May your joy be restored. I say may your peace be restored. May your health be restored. May your marriage be restored. Your business be restored. Your, your, your life be restored. Your health, everything about you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen to this. Let me encourage you lastly. Trust in God. If he said, I will restore, believe it. Believing God's word is what makes the restoration come fast. He said, believe the Lord thy God and you shall be established. The, 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 the New Living Translation said, believe the Lord thy God and he will restore you back to your position. So restoration. You know, David, <laughs> I love the scripture. David said to God, shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? And God said, you will not only pursue, you will overtake, you will recover her. That is restoration. So when you, when you trust God, you don't only pursue, you don't only overtake, you become a recovery machine. Recover all that has been lost. I'm praying for somebody right now. Stress forth your hands to the screen as I pray for you. Father, I don't know what they have lost. I don't know what the devil took from them. I don't know what life took from them. But in the name of Jesus, by the oil of restoration, I see a restoration coming back to them. May you get back what you have lost seven times. The number seven speaks of rest. It speaks of completion. It speaks of perfection. May God restore back to you what was taken. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to encourage you that God has done it. Believe it, and that settles it. My name is Prophet Okose Emmanuel. I believe that I will see you at the next episode. God bless you.